In PixInsight, if you use some tools such as StarNet2, Blur Exterminator, Noise Exterminator, Star Exterminator, or any other such tools, they can take a long time to run. For example, running StarNet2 can take several minutes to extract the stars from an image. However, using GPU acceleration, if you have a NVIDIA GPU, can turn that time from several minutes into mere seconds. And here is how to use your NVIDIA GPU to accelerate your PixInsight workflow. You will need to download these four programs and you have to make sure that you use this particular version of the CUDA toolkit only. Any other version will not work. The first program we are downloading is the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit. And this is the link over here. Open that up and make sure it's CUDA Toolkit version 11.8 only and not one of the newer ones. Select your operating system. In my case, it is Windows and select this as the architecture. Windows version for mine is Windows 11 and your installer type, for me it's local. Just click on download and save that to your downloads folder. Okay, I have now downloaded and extracted my CUDA 11.8 file. The next program that we need to download is the CUDNN kit for CUDA 11. So uh, find the version of CUDNN that is for CUDA 11. So the newest one over here is 8.9.7. So that'll work. I will click on that and I will download it for Windows. There we go. Local installer for Windows and that should work with any version of Windows. Now you will need to create an account with NVIDIA or log in using your existing NVIDIA account if you have one. And now that you have logged in, now you can download version 8.9.7 of CUDA 11 and save it to the same place as your last uh, program file. Now download TensorFlow uh, from the link below. And lastly, you will download and install the zlib file from the link below and save that click keep now that you have downloaded all of these files you will need to extract all of these directories one by one and once that's done you can delete those zip files that you had downloaded previously. Now go to your PixInsight installation directory and go to the bin folder. In the bin folder, scroll down until you find tensorflow.dll and rename that to something like tensorflow uh, underscore old. So that way you still have this file as a backup in case something goes wrong. Now go back to your directory where you had saved all of those files that you downloaded and open up TensorFlow. Inside the TensorFlow file, in the library file, there is tensorflow.dll and tensorflow.lib. Now from here, copy tensorflow.dll into the PixInsight directory, uh, the, the bin directory in PixInsight and paste it over there click continue. Next, you can go back to the folder where you downloaded all the files and install CUDA. Double click on that to install and extract the file to wherever it suggests. Click agree and continue. Now in this case, click custom advanced. Now in the custom installation options, make sure everything else is unchecked except CUDA runtime libraries. So just make sure libraries under here is checked and everything else is unchecked. Then click next. Okay, now that we have CUDA installed, we are going to open up the CUDNN directory and the bin folder inside that directory. And we are going to copy all of those files into the CUDA installation bin directory, which will be at this link usually. It is inside uh, in program files under NVIDIA GPU computing kit CUDA v11.8 and the bin folder. So copy these files into the bin folder in the CUDA directory. 
yes, replace all the existing files. And now we can move to the next step. Now we will open up the library folder, the zlib123dllx64 that you had downloaded and extracted. We will go to dll underscore x64 and we will copy this file, zlibwapi.dll. And we will paste that file into the CUDA bin folder that we had pasted the other stuff into. So again, that was at Program Files, NVIDIA GPU Computing Kit, CUDA V11.8 bin. And we will paste that into that bin folder and we will replace the existing file in there. Now go to the Start menu and type in Environment Variables. And that pulls up, edit the system environment variables under control panel. So click on that. Then under advanced over here, click on environment variables. And under system variables, click on new. And now for variable name, type in this tf underscore force underscore GPU underscore allow underscore growth. And for the value type in true and now that will show up over here uh, under the user variables and it is set as true now under system variables over here scroll down until you see path click on path to select it and then click edit and now click new to add a new variable and in this little box that pops up type in your location of your CUDA directory. So it's going to be C, Program Files, NVIDIA GPU Compute Toolkit, CUDA version 11.8 slash bin. And then hit OK. And now click OK on this screen to close it. And this one. And now open up PixInsight. And now we are going to open up an image in PixInsight and see how much of a difference using GPU acceleration made. Uh, we will open up StarNet 2. So process, ETC, StarNet 2. And we will do a star removal on this image and I will have a timer going so we can compare it to our initial result. Drag and drop that, start the timer. Wow, there we go. Instead of the three minutes and three seconds that it had taken without GPU acceleration, now it only took 19 seconds. That is a phenomenal result and uh, I am very happy with it. The quality is just as good. Yeah, no complaints whatsoever. That is amazing. So I hope you found this useful and I hope this will help you be more efficient in processing images in PixInsight. Thanks for watching and clear skies.